that's what I do. If you do what you like, that becomes fashion. Mary, there are so many people who want to work where they hate most. Some of us here, we wanted to become Catholic priests, but we got confused out there, and we found ourselves now becoming something different. So your calling was becoming a Catholic priest, or maybe a, a, a reverend or a sheikh, but you found yourself now in the classroom. So unless you convert now, you, may, you do the four A's I told you. Do you remember the four A's? Accept now you are a, a principal of a STEM school. Then you have to adjust. Forget what you wanted to become that time. Now adjust yourself to the new calling. Then take action. Because if you don't take action, you will not move anywhere. And then from there, accomplish that, that whatever God brought you to do in this world. I have met my friend that I know for 25 years. This gentleman you see here, I know him for over 25 years. He's my good friend, and when I came here, I noticed him. And he knows I'm a man of integrity and a man of character. Yeah, so if I was to look for a Rifadi, he knows me. And I thank God for him. But we were, we were young, you can imagine. I was about 21. I gave him a, a deal. He's telling me that the deal was good. And I met, I met another one. This one that you see, that the principal Jabin in high school, is my friend. But he looks pretty young. He was looking old that time. He was full of stress. Maybe he was not used to the environment. Now he looks a 25 young man. And I thank God for him. The principal Jabin, he's my friend. We know each other for a long period of time. I have met a few principals in my work. And one thing I've been telling people, be a person of integrity. Am I right? If I met a lady here, maybe I messed up with her, and then I find her here. I can't deliver. So, kai. Kai. Oi. Mr. Joya, you can't deliver. You can't deliver. You can facilitator. Because the environment becomes totally unparatable. But if you walk as a man of integrity, a woman of integrity, you don't care where you are. You will be walking with your head high. Do you know what I mean by that? And because you have been put in the, into a, a higher office, you must safeguard your name. You must take care. And I have told you, wherever you go, remember you don't have two characters. If you go to, to a forum where people are not to a room like you, you'll be forced by very nature that you behave in a modest way. Even the way you talk, even if you take beer, you can't allow the center of you are forced to be affected by the intoxication. You still you where you are at. I have also met my, my friend, Mr. Maina, from Nyeri High School. He came when I left because I, tried, I wanted to become an MP for Nyeri. They gave me less votes. They gave Morugi more. So I'm a defeated MP for Nyeri Town. <laughs> I'm a man of many hearts. There is no failure without attempting. And what is fail? Fail means first attempt in learning. Fail. First attempt in learning. So when somebody fails, don't castigate him or her. It is first attempt in learning. And when somebody says no, don't you worry. No means something different. Madame Mwangi, the principal. I met Madame Mwangi at, in her former station before the localization at the Lagawa Girls High School. And she, she, called, she invited me twice. You can imagine the reason behind her inviting me twice. Now, if somebody tells you no, don't you, no means next opportunity. Next opportunity. Don't stop there. Now, please and take my workshop seriously. I'm requesting you, Kaidri, take my workshop seriously. This will go beyond your career in the teaching profession. I have molded, and for information, I'm an employer. For those who watch me on the TV, I have already employed 1,500 young men and women. If you have a son or a daughter with a degree, the problem with your sons and daughters is that they have a very poor attitude. Because you did Bachelor of Science in Engineering and you have no job, you spent the whole of your lifetime with your parents being a parasite and you suffer from what we call dependency syndrome. It is not right. If you have a son or a daughter, who has created a, 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 a degree course or a diploma course, I'm offering jobs. The kind of jobs I offer, don't you worry. Let them come to me. I'll mold them to become the people that God meant them to be. Tell them to write, me, to, write to me. And they said their CVs. I have already received 450 CVs. I had a seminar in PCA headquarters, PCA St. Andrews headquarters. And 455 parents told their children there was an AGM for the circle. They have already employed and I'm going to give them jobs. And one of the jobs I'm giving starting salary is 100,000 Kenya shillings. The other job category is 50,000 shillings. You'll be surprised, and I'm telling you, you must change your attitude. Your attitude dictates your all tissues. And that's why the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so he is. 
Some of you people, I want you to, to have complete departure from the orientation that you have in life. And your sons too. I wish I can meet you with your sons and daughters. You bring them to me, I change them. You see people who will be so positive by the time they leave those halls and walls of the hall. I have got all those degrees, but I can tell you, and I'll tell you later on what has made me to be what I am. I ask a very simple question. If you're a professor and you're at home broke, you are not different with, with somebody who never went to school because being broke is being broke to all of you. Knowledge is useless unless used. Hope you understand that. We have one of your colleagues who has done what you call master's in knowledge management, and he knows wherever he is, and I know him, he's here. That knowledge, I hear you say, because Kenyans are very funny, just like Christians. When Christians have problems, the only verse they know in the Bible is Jeremiah 29, verses 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. <laughs> and when they are almost touching the ground, they go to Romans 8, 28. All things work together for good for they that love Lord. And when they are a flat, they go to Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon! <laughs> <laughs> Bring your sons. Tell them, try to me, wherever. Whether you come from Kisumu, I have a vacancy in Kisumu, Eldoret, uh, Kisi, Kitui, info at Panorama. No. You saw my email address, or I took, I take you back. I told, I will take you back. They are very, very fast, but you can like to tell, tell them to write me, and they do it with speed. Opportunities don't wait for people. I want you to make sure that uh, we go there. You can see my email. Right? They tell them to write to info at panoramaconsultants.com. I'll give them jobs. Whether they hold Bachelor of Science in Anthropology or Zoology, whether they hold a degree Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering or Mechanical Engineering, whether they hold BCom accounts or finance or marketing, tell them to apply to me. I have jobs. I create jobs and I'm not a government agency. I may not be recognized by the government of the day, but Mother Teresa never worked with the hope of being recognized. Recognition came along the way. Never work to be recognized. Serve mankind, and at God's appointed time, your recognition will come your way. So tell them to write, and please, when you go for lunch, I will tell you to now use your phones. Tell your son who is at home, or your cousin, or your nephew who is jobless to write to me. And remember, time is so I'm closing those applications latest by 3rd of May. Then I'm the one who takes them through. I'm the one who trains them. You know what I do? Some of you may not. You know how people become rich when others are remaining poor. You know some of us people, we are so poor because we expect the Shabbat to be brought to us late. Some of us marry the worst available spouses because we fear intermingling. You think that everybody suffers from what you call scarcity mentality. It's a very bad mentality. You know, I look at people. I, I took some guys to, you know, you can, <laughs> it happened to me, I don't sleep in very expensive hotels, or, because I know how to manage my money. I spent 4,000, 5,000. I spent 4,000, 5,000. You know, some people, they suffer from what you call mental psychosis. I'm one person who likes reasoning, and I will give you, I want to transfer the same reasoning to you. In Nairobi, if you sleep in a, a, a hotel called, for those who know, Tribe, you pay 19,900 shillings per night. Tribe. Major you are part market. If you sleep at Crown Plaza, it's 14,000 per night. If you sleep at Pan Africa Hotel, it's about 10,000. If you sleep at Stanley, it's about 9,000 per night. If you go to Panari or, or SLN, it's about 10,000 shillings. But we have other hotels within Nairobi. Clean, smart, 3,000 shillings. 